if you want to get onto the cutting edge of the Wix tool set running on the very, very latest builds, which is exactly what I want us to be doing the deployment though. Because we're brave and we can handle all the bugs that we're going to find. Because we will find bugs. There are still bugs available. There are still plenty to be found. We will hit them. But that's where I want to start. So you can do a .NET tool install and install tools that you might want straight from the command line. Now you get those tools from NuGet. So if we bring up NuGet here and you search for Wix, we're the top hit right here. You can see they give us the command to install the Wix tool set as a tool on your machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the Wix tool set on my machine globally. And we're gonna grab a preview zero, which we uh, released uh, just last year and been fixing tons of bugs since then. Here we go. .NET tool install Wix. And now I can type Wix and it gives me its help. That's all I had to do to get Wix 4 onto this machine. All right, now we're in the deployment dojo for the Wix tool set, which means we're not gonna be working with a build from last year. We're gonna be working with the build from, uh, I don't know, yesterday or a couple days ago. Where do we get that? On the GitHub Wix tool set, if you go to the packages, you will see a whole bunch of uh, pre-release packages, NuGet packages that we're uh, working with. And here is the Wix one. This is the XE that you want. And you can see this is preview one, build, yada, yada, yada. So I come into my command. Now I'm going to .NET tool install this new version preview one. It's trying very hard. It's trying to get this preview, but this preview is on its public feed. The This is the Wix tool set public feed. Anybody can install from this but it's, uh, we have to say, I wanna add this. .NET tool knows how to install from the public NuGet, but we wanna install from our private location. Hi, I'm Steph. I'll be interrupting Rob when he doesn't make sense. This happens approximately every 2.269 minutes, so I'll be sure to see you around. Like? Right now. I mean, look at his face. Let me clarify. What Rob is trying to say is that you can get the latest Wix dev builds from GitHub packages. However, while NuGet.org is available by default, the GitHub packages feed for the Wix toolset must be added manually. Let's watch him do that next. Because they don't make it real clear where the URL is in this uh, UI. It's something that we'll have to document when we're ready for people to start pushing through. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this source. So I'm selling NuGet, add a source, call it Wix toolset. And the source is this HTTPS NuGet package on GitHub for the Wix toolset with the index.json. I'm sorry to interrupt again, but I want to point out that Rob switched to using NuGet EXE here. You can download NuGet EXE from NuGet.org, but I find it easier to stick with .NET commands instead. It takes a little more typing, but I find it clearer and does not require downloading another tool. This is now a place that you can find packages. Now let's try to install it. And then you hit this problem. It's gonna say, hey, we would like to use the GitHub packages that you said, but they are not authenticated. So where I can access NuGet.org wide open, no authentication needed. GitHub requires me to authenticate to these feeds here. So I'm gonna step through the process if you haven't done it to uh, create a private access token. I'm gonna to do something that you're definitely not supposed to do. I'm going to uh, show you my private access token. So you go into your settings on GitHub. So you take your profile picture settings, scroll all the way to the bottom of all this information about yourself, you go to developer settings, and then you go to personal access tokens. A personal access token essentially is a replacement for a password. It's a way of going to GitHub and saying, hey, give me this password that I can then control how long it's valid for. I'm gonna say, give me a new token. And I can say, uh, we're gonna use this for the dojo. I'm gonna change the expiration to seven days, even though I'm gonna delete this right away when we're done with it. And I'm gonna say, give me the ability to download packages from the GitHub package registry. There's all kinds of things that I can say I want this token, this password to be good for but I wanna limit it, especially since you guys are all gonna see it, to only be able to read packages from the GitHub repository. So when I hit the button, we're gonna see the magic character and it's gonna be this big thing. They start with GHP, stuff like that. They give me this nice button where I can copy it. So I can copy that command. And now I'm going to bring back this command. New git sources add the Wix tool set with that URL again, same thing, but this time I told it my username and my uh, password, whoop, I think I lost something here. My password, which is this token. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm saying, hey, NuGet, when you use this source, this Wix toolset source, use this username and password 
with this token to go access it. And because this token represents the ability to read packages from GitHub, I should be good to go. Now we're gonna go back to my previous command of installing preview build one that. So now I should have told it Wix toolset with my private token and I should now be able to tell it to install the Wix toolset. And boom, we have now installed preview one build 509, which was out September 5th, so two days ago. If you wanna get in and start using dev builds of the Wix toolset, you can do so today. And again, these are dev builds. So this is a dev scenario with all these access tokens and things like that. And now that I have my access token, if I go back to the page, you can see I have Dojo read packages and now I'm gonna delete it. All right, cause I have Wix installed. If I attempt to remove it and then install it again, unless it's cached on this machine, it won't be able to access it cause I revoked that password. So all of you that copied it in this video, it doesn't work anymore. All of these are for, if you wanna get onto the cutting edge of the Wix tool set running on the very, very latest builds, which is exactly what I want us to be doing the deployment dojo. This video was a highlight from episode one of the Deployment Dojo with Rob Menching. If you found it interesting, subscribe to get notifications when new episodes are scheduled. And if this video was useful, give it a like so I know to create more. And now we sing. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction.